IXL X7 area improvement of squares and rectangles on the coordinate plane. Okay, so what does it ask you to do? Well, let's go to a learn by example first. Yeah, if you don't know what to do, that's where you start. Remember, we've talked about this. This will want you to plot those points, find the shape, and then come up with the perimeter. So the first thing is, you need to plot the points, then use what we've done to find the perimeter. So negative 2, negative 7, so that would be 7 minus 2, so that's B5. And then our different ones here are 10 and 5, so that would be 5 also, wouldn't it? And it's a square, so each side is 5. Okay, and that's what it's telling us here, and we want the perimeter. So there's one, two, three, four sides. Perimeter, remember, is the distance around. And so it'll be 4 times 5. And you can get that. Okay, yes, that perimeter is 4 times 5. The other ones, how do you find the area? Remember the area, you'll just have to do length times width. That's how you find the area. Okay, well, good luck. Okay, um, let's go on to this first one. So first thing is, you need to plot them. So it says over 3 and up 7. Yep, that's where your first point goes. Then negative 10 and 7. So negative 10 and 7, then negative 10, negative 6, and then 3 and negative 6. Okay, and now this one's a square, isn't it? Now if you notice, how far down are we here? Remember when we talked about that? This point is 6 down, this one is 7 up. So we have 6 plus 7, which would give us 13. And this one would be 13 again. If you're not sure, 3 over, 10 over, so that would be 13. So our area is 13 times 13. So go ahead and figure that out. 13 times 13 is, you got your paper there? Why don't you have a piece of paper out? That's how you figure this stuff out, isn't it? Yeah. Okay, so just use long division, long multiplication, sorry. 13 times 13, or again, 10 times 13 is 130. And then 3 times 13 would be 39. So we have... 39 plus 130 would give us 169. Okay, so that's our area. Yep, so put that in there. Okay, so this one wants the area. Okay, so that's what you got to do on these. Plot them in there and figure out what it is. Rectangle, okay? So negative 6, negative 9, and 0, negative 9, 0, 7, and negative 6, 7. And realize if, if, if it has to be right angles everywhere because it has to be rectangles. So this one is 6 because it goes 6 down from 0. This one's 7 up and 9 down, so that would be 16. Again, area, so that would be... 6 times 16, which would be, yeah, go ahead and figure it out. What do you got? 6 times 15, or is it 16 or 15? It's 16, isn't it? What'd you get? 96, is that what you got? Is that right? Oh, good job. Okay. Again, this one wants a perimeter, so this one you're going to have to do what? Okay, you can get this one, then we're going to move on. So negative 6 and negative 6 and negative 10 and negative 6 
negative 10 and negative 10. Negative it has to be right there, doesn't it? Okay, so again, so we go from negative 6, negative 6, uh, 10, so that's just 4, isn't it? And we want perimeter, so there's just 4 sides that, so we have 4 times 4 times 4, so what's 4 times 4 times 4? Um, 16, very good. Okay, all right, keep working on these, get them done. Okay, I'll be back.